What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Alter Bridge. Yes, indeed. Alter Bridge fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Carlos Carrizo. And Carlos wanted to see me react to this song by Alter Bridge called In Loving Memory. Now, have I heard this song before? No, I don't believe I have. This does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a chance I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I have heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Only Real Music 88, okay? And the video has 1.5 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Alter Bridge in loving memory, live with lyrics. Ah, sometimes lyrics are on the screen, sometimes they're down in the in the description. So always take that with lyrics with a grain of salt. Anyway, all right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. This next song is a this is a song that uh, means a lot. To, uh, to us, and, uh, and a lot of you over the years have, have made it known that um, it's, it's held a special place in your life as well. This is a song that uh, Mark wrote for his mother after she passed away. This is called In Loving Memory. <laughs> relationship um rockers usually sit well with me ballads it's it's a lot tougher it's a lot tougher for me to relate to ballads now some ballads just click with me and they they hit and there's a connection and it just absolutely impacts me there are other ballads that other people are like this is my song this is the song i want to play at my funeral everything like that it, they really connect with them. I'll listen to the exact same song, and I'm sorry, but I'm not going to have the same experience as you. I'm just not. And I know there's a lot of people that probably really connect with this song, and it really hits home with them, and it gets them right in the feels. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I, I, it's not because it's not because I'm not trying. I, I'm not trying either way. I'm not. I'm not trying to force it to hit me in the feels, but at the same time, I'm also not pushing it away. I'm just 
I, I have my door open, and if it, if it comes through the door, that's great. You know, but I'm not going to drag it through the door. I'm not going to keep it out either. I'm just, I'm waiting to see if it actually does connect with me. And so far, I'm sorry to say it, it hasn't. It's a, listen, it's a great song. Don't get me wrong. It sounds good. I like the dynamics in the guitar in that intro. Lots of dynamic control. Same thing with his voice. Uh, he's using a lot of dynamics as well. Uh, it helps to kind of build that ambience and that atmosphere, which is really nice, but it's just not connecting with me as much as I would like it to. Uh, we, we still have another four minutes. You know, a, a lot can happen. It, maybe it will connect with me in four minutes. I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep going. You're a part of me and it's your song that sets me free. the same, no, it feels empty and alone, I can't believe you're gone, and I know, I like how they came in strong right there, they, they didn't, they didn't stay mellow the whole time, I, I like the fact that they're bringing some attitude and some energy into this, that's good, it's a good transition, and it caught my attention, it absolutely did. I like how they did that. Very, very smart. Clearly, this is a crowd favorite. I mean, the crowd is singing loud on this. So they clearly know the song. They know the words. So that's awesome. I mean, like like I said, I, I hear the appeal of the song. I, I, I can see it. Um, and I, 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 can, I can see how this connects with a lot of people. Absolutely. It's just not connecting with me. I'm sorry. It it still has it. We still got another two and a half minutes. Maybe it will. But for some reason, I, if it hasn't connected with me by the three minute mark, it's unlikely it's going to connect with me in the next two and a half. It, it, but I'm not saying it won't. I'm just saying it's unlikely. We'll see. We'll see. Let, let's keep going. It feels empty and alone. Ladies and gentlemen, 
That was cool. That was cool. Uh, not so much the dedication part. I, I, it, it goes hand in hand. So he did the dedication. All oh, this is for all the all the friends and family that we've loved and lost. Okay, I, I get that. That's cool. You know, it, it's a I hate to say it, but it's a little cliche. But then he followed it up with something that was really good. Let me hear you sing it for all of them. Sing it for them. That's cool. That's cool. I I can get behind that. Can't really get behind the first part. If the first part was by itself, but because it was followed up with that second part, I can get behind the whole thing. So, that's cool. That's very cool. intro and the outro might have been my favorite part of the song where he was playing guitar by himself i think that i think that might be the part that sticks with me the most in this song i don't know i'll have to think about it um give me a couple of minutes to gather my thoughts and uh i'll see you in the review we'll talk about it well there you go folks that was alter bridge with in loving memory this was a request from carlos carrizo Okay, I have a score, and I'm going to give you that score along with my reasoning in five minutes or less. We'll see, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. I I'm pretty sure we'll do it in five minutes or less. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, I'm going to give that song a 7.8. Yep, 7.8. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, I understand that this song is special to a lot of people. I understand that this song holds a special place in a lot of hearts in a lot of people. I understand that this song hits a lot of people right in the feels, and I understand that this song is special to a lot of people. Having said that, I am not one of those people. As I have always said about this channel, I am not going to love everything I see in here. Um, just because the song connects with some people doesn't mean it's going to connect with everybody. This is a good example of that. Um, so I'm looking at this song completely objectively. Having said that, since I am looking at the song objectively, the song is actually really good. There are some great things happening within the context of the song. Um, the way they started with that guitar soloing, just not soloing, but by himself, uh, very smart, a great way to build, and a great way to finish how you start. Um, I can always appreciate that when it's done well and when it makes sense. And this made sense and it was done well both at the same time. So I love the beginning. I love the ending. I, I think that might be my favorite part of the song, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, the rest of the song, really well written, easily written, easily relatable. It's not so complex that you get lost in it. You know what I mean? It's not so complicated with theory and time changes and chord changes that you can't relate to it. You know, you're, you're too busy busting out a scientific calculator and sitting there with some graph paper trying to figure things out. No, it's not that difficult. It's a real easy song. Um... Having said that, 
I do feel like the live performance may have helped with this. Uh, it's possible. Uh, the live performance was really well done. Uh, the way that uh, Miles Kenny was able to engage the crowd, especially toward the end with what he said. I was really scared when he said, this is dedicated to all the friends and family that you've lost, uh, and all the loved ones that you've lost. And I'm sitting here going, oh, groan. Play the wah, wah, wah sound effect. That is cringeworthy, and that is absolutely predictable. And it's redundant, and it is cliche beyond belief. Luckily, he followed it up with the next line, which was, they let them hear you sing it for them and make them make it so they can hear you something along those lines that was cool that was cool i appreciated that because it wasn't redundant it wasn't cliche and it was a special moment right there that was good i liked that moment in time uh a lot but the rest of the song like i said it's not a bad song at all it's actually a really good song Simple, can be effective when done properly. And this was done very properly. Was it the greatest song I've ever heard from them? No, I've heard far better songs from them than this. But, at the same time, that does not mean this is bad. Not by any stretch. I don't think I've heard a bad song from them yet. I've heard songs that are not as strong as their better songs. But I don't think I've heard a bad song from these guys yet, and I don't think I ever will. They have a very conducive sound. Uh, they follow a formula that works for them. Uh, they know their target demographic. They know what their range is. They know what their capabilities are. They know what their strengths and weaknesses are, and they play to their strengths and their talents. So I don't ever foresee hearing a bad song from them. Um, no, these guys are really good, and this song... Just goes to further it. Like I said, I don't personally think it's one of their best songs, but I'm sure there are people who do think it's the, one of their best, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. Just please understand, I'm not knocking the song in any way, shape, or form. I'm not saying the song sucks. I'm not saying anything like that. All I'm saying is, it's a really good song. Not as strong as some of their other ones, but a, it's a really good song nonetheless, and that's why it's getting the 7.8. So, 7.8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and bright your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.